How's it going YouTube? This is Michael from Underground Studios here and today I have a little app review for you of Sketchbook Express uh, and this is an application that runs on the Mac. Now you can get this in the Mac App Store. Uh, this version is free. Uh, there also is a paid version and that would be Sketchbook Pro. It's cost 60 bucks. Now I would assume there's more features uh, just from the screenshot it looks like there really is uh, quite a few more features and it looks a lot more powerful uh, but for what I wanted to do this ex uh, express version works out just fine although you can do some pretty crazy stuff with the pro version and as you can see here here's some screenshots of different things that can be created with it and basically what this is is a sketching program so if you like to draw uh, this is probably for you now the only thing that I can say you probably would want a graphics tablet if you uh, if you want to use this full time just because it really works best if you can input with a pen uh, and that's something that I can't really do so I was only able to use it with a mouse but I kind of find it useful uh, as for like a paint program uh, because when I used to use Windows uh, there was always paint installed for me and I kind of like paint and I didn't really find a good alternative with OS X but this sketchbook uh, Pro, or uh, Express rather really kind of fills in that gap and uh, really is quite a nice application for especially being free. So basically what this is, I'll launch it right here, and uh, it lets you draw and once again this would be really great with a uh, like a drawing tablet. I know that they sell like USB drawing tablets uh, with a pen and everything, those would be really neat. Uh, but unfortunately I don't have one of those. Uh, but you know it works pretty much the same without it you just have to use your mouse as input. So if you see over here you have a couple different controls. Here's a pencil. Here's a airbrush. Yep. Here is a marker tool. So you can see this. And this tool right here is called chisel tip pen. Here's a ballpoint pen. You can see it's a lot thinner of a line. Here's a paintbrush. Now, of course, all these can be customized. I have them set up how I like them right now. And here's the felt tip pen. So what you can do with any of these is you can click on it. Let's say I want the pencil. Now, what I can do is I can click on this little controller here, and I can see some brush properties. So let's see. Let's say I want it to be thinner, uh, more like a traditional pencil. You can see it's thinner, or maybe I want it thicker. So you can really change it around, and it's really customizable, like if you had a whole set of drawing pencils. Uh, you can also click on this little thing right here and it lets you change the size of the pencil so I can just drag back and forth to get the right size so that's kinda neat I can close that and this applies to everything so here's the airbrush I can change its size and the flow so now you can see it's much more like a real airbrush and it works a lot nicer and then I have some different tools here such as the smear tool you can see I can smear everything around uh, here is the blur tool and then of course the sharpen tool uh, which I found mixed results with and then you have a couple different erasers you have that eraser, you have this little smudgy eraser and you have your fill tools like that and then I think that's the same thing flood all visible layers and then up on the top here you have undo and redo buttons so that's cool and then you can select stuff um, and then what you'll see here is this little menu pop up when you select anything and from here it can click on scale and then drag in or out to select a larger scale so that's neat I can also rotate and move it just like that so it's really neat what you can do with just this little uh, just this little square and this little menu pops up and once you know how to use it it's really cool it just floats around with you and you have your lasso select that works the same way and then you can select that way too and you can crop little sections out and then of course I could zoom in you have just a lot of tools here's my pencil once again and I have a straight line tool I have a cube tool I have a zigzag tool and I, of course I have a circle tool and then I can make more layers like you would in Photoshop so this brings this up you can see on my background layer right here uh, I can move these layers around if I wanted to, if I had more. 
and there's my background layer. Now I could start another layer and I could add stuff on top of it. So this is a lot like Photoshop in that sense. Then I have my little color chooser right here. So this is my colors editor. And if I bring this up here, you can see I have my full color wheel and I can select any color I would want to. And you get quite a few options like that. Now down in the corner you also have this alternative view uh, where I can click on any of these things and I can kind of pan out to them. You can see I have pretty much these exact same options just presented in kind of a different way. And then when I'm done with my image I can just go up to file and then of course I can save it. You get a lot of different file formats, JPEG, PNG, Photoshop documents, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is a little sample image I made just to show you that you can do stuff with this even if you're using a mouse. I put this together in about 20 minutes so it's not the best but it's just a little quick thing I made and uh, if you want to see the image itself uh, in higher quality you know, to, to see how it turned out I'll put a link in the description I'll have the photo uploader so you can check that, that out if you want. Uh, so overall, Sketchbook Express and I'm guessing Sketchbook Pro would be even nicer. They're really great applications and I can definitely recommend the Express version because it is free. The Pro version is probably pretty great. I don't have the money to try it out. Uh, and these would work really great with a graphics tablet. And it really lets you expand the possibilities of your Mac. So this is Michael from Underground Studios and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.